We have this term used a lot, constipation, uh, in pediatrics. What is constipation? Constipation is the passage of infrequent hard stools that cause discomfort to the uh, child. Many times we have kids who are breastfed and they don't go every day or two or three and it still comes out nice and soft. Is that defined as constipation? No, that is a normal situation for certain breastfed infants and it's important actually that pediatricians recognize that because the tendency is to treat it and that can just lead to further problems. So in other words, sometimes just not going doesn't mean constipation, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so you, the key point is not going or going with a very big, bulky, hard stool. With discomfort, right? With discomfort. And how can we approach, say, a new baby that maybe is labeled constipated? What would be your approach in the beginning? Well, it's important with a new baby to determine the exact time that the symptom began because there is one disorder called Hirschsprung's disease which must be at least considered in all infants because that will not respond to any treatment. What is Hirschsprung's disease? Hirschsprung's disease is a situation where the nerves that allow the distal, the far end of the rectum to relax and pass stool are not properly formed. And so the child actually cannot pass stool and cannot pass gas. How does it present? Is it just constipation? Usually it presents in the newborn period as an obstruction with distension of the abdomen and bilious vomiting, that's greenish vomiting, and the failure to pass any stool at all. That's the most common presentation. But sometimes it doesn't always follow that route. One has to be sure with every child who you treat with constipation that we can at least consider, could this be Hirschsprung's disease, and look for clues in the history and physical examination that it is not. If a kid had normal stool production the first year, and around the time of tour training, starts to get constipated, is that a red flag for Hirschsprung's disease or something else? No, that is not a red flag for Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease will not have a period of normal bowel movements followed by constipation. That's the key point here, is that true? Yes. But if my child is being toilet trained and is not making stool, that's a different type of constipation. What do we call that? That's stool holding behavior. There are a number of times where constipation seems to be initiated. And that is the introduction of whole milk into the diet, toilet training, and the start of school. These are times where either the diet changes or the child's not ready to be constipated or the child is not willing to move his bowels in stool, so the ch kids tend to hold back. And once they hold back, the stools get harder and larger and more uncomfortable to pass, and then in fact the constipation becomes a vicious